Hey guys, let's talk about JSON. Aside of XML, this is second most popular format for transferring and storing data, and it stands for JavaScript Object Notation. But unlike in XML, here we don't have starting and ending tag. We have objects and attributes, where object is defined using squirrely brackets, and attributes are presented in key value format, where key is actually name of attribute and it has to be quoted. Name of attribute and value of attribute are splitted with column. And if value is of type string, it also has to be quoted. And this in front of you is one really simple object. Object could have multiple attributes, like in this case. So now we have attribute name with value of Donny and we have attribute gender with value of M. And you could have as many attributes you like, but attributes needs to be splitted by comma. And now let's say a few words about arrays. Now we have object with only one attribute, people. But value of attribute people is of complex type. It's an array that holds multiple objects. But we can go even further than that. Now we have root object with single attribute company. And that attribute contains complex value with two other attributes, people and location, where location has simple string value while people is an array. But even in this case, attributes need to be splitted by comma. So after value of people attributes ends with uh, angle brackets, we need comma before attribute location. And now let's say a few words about types. As you know, if your value is of type string, you have to quote your value. But if your value is an integer, you don't have to do it. Same goes for floating point numbers and for boolean values. And finally, we can end with something like this. Finally, our company object has two more attributes, net worth with type of integer and has insurance with type of boolean.